From Team Cyrex, we're here, and today, guys, I'm with Trip Gaming. Steven, how are you today, bro? Yo, I'm good, man. I just made the sickest deck. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Before I show it to you guys, though, What's up? guess What's what up? I just bought, bro? Wait, what you buy? You already know. I bought this sick ass map, man. No way. Bro, I don't even like Sky Strikers. I don't even like them, but the art's too sick. I had to play them. All three of them, even the Hi Hat or whatever that one's called. I just, I like my opponent to know. I know you're playing Sky Strikers. I know I'm playing the best deck on the planet. So I want you to know I'm going to destroy you using your map. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> alright, listen, guys, get your play mats today, yo, Steven, yo, yo, thank, yo, thanks for helping support the channel. I man. got you, bro. Guys, I got get you. your mats in the description box below. They'll be absolutely amazing. You guys are great. Uh, Steven, bro, what yeah. deck is this? Basically, I'm gonna showcase a deck that I think is unbelievably underrated, and it's a deck that I love. Why? Because I love. Basically, I love the, these this Yu-Gi-Oh archetype. How I like my girls. <laughs> DDs. DDs? What's DDs? Double Ds? Double Ds. You already know. <laughs> so, we're going to get right into it, guys. Okay, we wait, got wait, wait, wait. So, Steve, yeah. so, wait, so, so this is DD deck we're about. Straight up DD. It's a new way to play DDs, okay? Oh. You don't remember that card, uh, Swirl Slime? It's Swirl Slime and Necro Slime? Uh, something like that. Forget about them. Forget about them. They're trash. This is the new DD, okay? The new way to play DD. No and Swirl Slime, whatever that's called. Never play them again. Take them. You have them? Throw them in the garbage with the other slime you got, okay? <laughs> Okay, Steven, so you actually revolutionized the new way to play DDs correctly. I revolutionized Pendulums, and now I'm revolutionizing DDs. All right, okay, Steven, without further ado, let's get started. And give a combo in the video. Oh, of course. What what deck pop is going to be without a combo, huh? Okay, all right, Steven, let's get started. Let's all right, let's go. go. So, first, Kepler gets everything. Also, it's DDD Pendulums, by the way. Straight, mainly DDDs. The goal is to end on a Siegfried, Dragster, and to really abuse Lamia. Because Lamia is unbelievably underrated. So, abuse Lamia... I'm going to end up on two Synchro, so basically Firewall and Griffin negating all, all monster effects. They're going to try and destroy the Griffin, Firewall stops it, the monster effects are irrelevant. And then you got Dragster, and you got Dragster and you got uh, Siegfried to ensure that no uh, no Spell or Traps are going to bother you. Double evenly? No. Okay. Anyway, so we got these. These are the three L's you need to play, and then the one of DDs, Thomas, because uh, it, it, I'll show you later in the combo. Thomas and Copernicus, these are each, everyone plays DD7, uh, DD7 Thomas anyways. DD Savage Thomas. Everyone plays it anyways because they saw me play my build with 40 or 60 cards. Uh, they saw me play it earlier. It's a way to go Kepler, Thomas, add Kepler back. It's like a plus three. But Copernicus is also needed. It's a pendulum that sends Lamia for free. Okay. So when it's normal, a special summon, send a DD uh, to your grave. So you send Lamia. Okay. And that allows so uh, it'll ensure Siegfried comes out every turn. So it's Next. a foolish burial. Yeah, it's a foolish burial for, for DDs. You play Leonidas, it's a level 7 and auto win against Trick Stars. How come? Explain. Uh, basically, whenever a trick, uh, whenever you get any effect damage to you, uh, you can special this from your hand, you search it by a million ways, and then you summon it, and then they can't... Uh, burn you. They can't burn you. So they're trying to burn you for 8k, which is the only way to win, and if you're not an idiot, you're not going to lose by that. Bad deck is bad. Uh, you summon this, you win. Okay. It's also a one-card Electrum against that deck. And everyone plays Trick Stars and Sky Circle Trick Stars, so it's too easy. Next, DD Lamia, the reason why I'm playing DDs, it's... Uh, it's a free level one tuner. The plays you can do with this is unreal, especially since you got level seven and sixes that sometimes just stay there for nothing. Uh, there's too many times I get a double hand trap. I get double hand trap, but it's easy. You just go into your, your Copernicus, send this, and you set uh, one of your dead chronographs, go into a dragster. So you have a dragster and a jackal through two hand traps. Good luck playing through that with four cards, especially when you're playing brick stars. <laughs> next, two contracts. And next, one for one. Uh, it ensures that Kepler comes out no matter what. It's the whole engine of the deck. So uh, Kepler ensures, uh, one for one ensures no matter what, you get a free turbo card and you get a free Kepler, which pushes through all your DDs. Nice. So it ensures no matter what, that you get a turbo card and you get a Kepler. It's actually a one card Electrum, so one for one. Nice. So it's needed. It's absolutely needed. Uh, you bait out Ash with a bunch of random cards and you one for one. There's 10 DD cards there. Next, the Magicians. Uh, we play a very, very small uh, Magician engine, the three Wisdom, the one of everything else. So one Oaf, one Poison, one Janky, one Gazer, one Black Fang, one Harmonizing. Why? One one of each. I don't want to play too much. It's a DD deck. It just, you really want the Magicians to end in the scales. So uh, you, the only way to really summon a bunch of monsters is with Pendulum summoning. Obviously, you can't play a deck without Pendulums. You can't just go, uh, it's not Master Rule 3 anymore where you just do DD garbage plays and have two negates. It's nothing. Mm. With the Magicians, it allows you to play, allows the DDs to turn into a lot more. And we play one more Magician that no one plays. A tuning magician. What the heck is this, Steven? <laughs> Basically, uh, another reason I'm playing the magicians is to ensure the the dragster, uh, the dragster Siegfried play with the firewall Griffin comes out every time. Uh, sometimes uh, life is rough and you can't, you don't have access to Lamia. 
Okay. So in those situations, this is the next best thing. Where you go into time slayer with the magicians because you play a lot, right? Uh, harmonizing the all the level fours you play. Uh, you go into time slayer, you add this firewall effect, special from your hand. Uh, it's a free level one. Then you go into the you go into you also summon Leonidas. You go into Siegfried. Then it goes to the grave. And now since you got magician in the scales, you bring it out with the other random six and go to dragster. So wow. dragster, Siegfried, firewall, Griffin. That's uh, it. Easily, like extremely easily. Okay. And the reason why you play tuning is, is also it's a dark tuner to make Siegfried, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, nice. So that's pretty much for your minimal magician. Yeah, the minimal. The uh, you could take out, you could take out the tuning magician if you want. But I just really, I think the plays are so sick, especially with Nightmare Goblin. You can even di if you don't, if you don't have the resources to bring out, bring it out with Firewall. You could discard it with Goblin, draw one, and then special it because it's a free summon. So it's like a, another version of Lamia, just not as good, but it's another version of it. Nice. Uh, and they never brick because they're level one tuners. They literally turn into negates, so they never brick. They make your de your dead Chrono Gods a negate. Uh, then the turbo cards, you got three Chronos, three Razors, three Cerberus, two Shrine, one Foolish, and, as well as the one for one. And turbo cards are, are needed, right? Yeah, you absolutely need these to make the Electrums. Uh, Electrum is what allows you to send the DDs, uh, allows you to, you don't need a much of a DD engine, like, it just, it, it should play the sick DDs. These are the plus one DDs, plus the Lamia. So Lamia, Le the Lamia Leonidas are like the power cards, and sure, you got a rank seven and six for you all the time. Lamia, the free level one. And then these are the power cards where it's like you ensure they all give you plus ones. Kepler gives you a plus three, but the others give you a plus one, so they're needed. Uh, so you need all the turbo cards to ensure that the DD card, you send them with Electrum, you add the cards you're missing with Electrums. Electrum literally says take any card from your deck and add it to your hand. You're right. So right. these are needed to ensure that Electrums come out, and that's it for that. Next, to ensure we could do the three, we always got to stick to the game plan. Always. So you got to make sure you got three Electrums, but to ensure you have the, uh, to ensure that you have the, resources to bring out three electrons you need some more plus cards right if you don't draw the dds there's no other plus card so the rest is just plus cards to ensure that you can do three electrons send the because you're gonna need to send a lot of stuff to ensure you got the board you got to send the leonidas you got to send uh if you don't draw Tom, let's say you, you hard draw thomas or let's say you hard draw uh yeah you hard draw thomas so you send kepler at it if you don't have any of them and you open a chron chronograph you send the thomas or send the kepler add the kepler you got to make sure you send so much stuff to ensure that all those pluses go through and uh kepler's a plus three mm. so any deck that you can play a plus three in like everyone's going crazy out of uh brandishing uh engage it's only a plus one at best two dark worm and zero also you need it for shrines and it, even drawing is not that bad because it's a plus one next i'm um, absolutely uh certain this is needed for any pendulum deck three bambuco and one nekomata how come it's how a come? it's a plus two so when you go off for chronographs chrono special bambuco add cat uh, Electrum, Chrono, Special Cat, Abambuku, End Phase. So from one card, you ended up by two cards, and it's a free Electrum. And then at the very end, you can bring out a Totem Bird. So it's a free, you're getting all the cards back. So it's just, uh, it's turning into an Astrograph. Nice. Because what Astrograph did was special it and then add a card, right? Yes, yes. But now it's Chrono, Special, and add a card. Oh. That makes sense? So the card you special, you're adding back with the Bambuku. So it's actually like Astrograph never left. Oh, yes. Steven, you're crazy, bro. How do you think I, I talked, bro? Because <laughs> ideas like this. Yo, and last, yeah, yo, lastly, rescue hamster. You just just need one because you can uh, all search it. Yeah, you don't. You want to save your. Sometimes you have to save your normal. You're not lucky enough sometimes to draw two turbo cards. So when you draw one. Typically, you're gonna have to normal any pendulum just to get an electro. So a hamster, you only want uh, the scale effect for. It's extremely important to get the scale effect. That extra plus is so important. Okay. Uh, one one card is a difference between one again and four. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's so important. And then uh, two Jackals, because uh, it's obvious. I don't need to explain this one. I might even play three, because it's the best way to play around hand traps, playing more of these. Because they hand trap. Let's say they draw you, they impermanence you, and they ash to you. I got all three hand trapped one game, and I still just pended a Jackal. They couldn't do anything. They have three cards in their hand. What are they going to do? Or two cards in hand, you go this and Dragster. Or one time I got hand trapped twice. Jackal, dra uh, I had a Metaltron. Yeah. So I went Jackal, uh, Jackal, Vortex, Dragster. So it's like three negates through, through two hand traps. What are you doing with your four cards in your hand Nothing. playing through three negates? Even two negates through three uh, four cards in hand, you're not doing anything. Correct. So that's the main deck. It's 42. I uh, wouldn't change anything. Like the, It's just basically DD Turbo, or you just bring out the Kepler's as much as possible. And uh, it's basically like playing... It's like playing 30 search cards and 10 DDs. So... so because... Yeah. Cause, oh, sorry, just continue your thing. Because you go into... It's Electrum Turbo and then DD Turbo in one. Okay. Because the... Kepler's a plus three. Why on earth would you not take advantage of a, a card that's a uh, plus three? Correct, correct. And on top of that, you get to go into a Lamia for free. 
So why would you not like take advantage of that? So this, I don't, is, a, this is a new age DDD. This is a new age DDD. Okay, so the old the old DDD stuff they're gone. They're trash. Old DDDs are dead, just like DDD Dave. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, guys. Okay, it's Steven now. All right, Steven. It's extra deck. Extra deck now. Three electrons. You already know. Stick to the game plan. One goblin, one metal. One goblin is for the play with Tuning Magician. It's good to have because sometimes we just. Uh, Similar to what I did with the blow pull for the Doriado Pals, uh, having a goblin, whenever you, you search it with Time Star, then you go to the goblin after, you discard it, draw one for free, then you have it engraved for a free level one to make Siegfried. Nice. So uh, it's important. One Metaltron, one Griffin, one Firewall. I'm convinced Underclock's not needed anymore, but it is. It's only, the only re reason I ever play Underclock is for cherries, but I find slowly no one's playing cherries anymore. Uh, I find a lot of people used to play it a lot, but not many people are playing it anymore. Mm. So I'm not playing Underclock anymore. Uh, you rarely get cherry. You'll be surprised. A lot of people just took it out of their deck. So it's not worth it. Uh, the only thing I would take out would be this for Underclock, just in case. Or I'd, I'd side it uh, just because of cherries. These are all the only links you'll need. Uh, next, Totem Bird, because needed for the uh, for Magic Spectres. Time Star needed for every single play you do to make sure you get a Jackal or a Tuning Magician. Uh, it's a free search and then uh, free link material. So a free search that you'll bring up with Firewall and then a free material. Tornado Dragon is only rank 4 Interruption, but you side into Dweller. Uh, Naruto, Absolute Vortex, and then the Synchros is Dragster and Siegfried. So every single play, the goal is to end on... Is to end on this, and your opponent really? cries. Yeah. This is your ending board, Steven? Yeah, yeah, Lies. yeah. Oh, so you get one bounce? Yeah, yeah, so it's uh, basically... They, they, uh, their spells and traps are basically useless because two of them they can't use whatsoever. So two evenly, nice try, no chance. Two light stages, no chance. They can't do anything with spells or traps. And their monsters are irrelevant because the only way to clear a griffin is, is by using something here, which you're not clearing this because you can't use spells or traps. You can't use monster effects. You can't attack into it with something. Let's say you use that kooky play where you just attack into it and get that boost play. Firewall bounce. Nice try. You can't do anything. There's a soft little lock here. And if you normal summon something and try to use a normal summon effect, let's say Spiral Tough, bounce a firewall. None of your special summon effects can be used now because of Griffin. You can't use spell traps. Like it's a pure, it's a soft lock that uh, it, you actually never once has this, has this board been broken ever. Unless for Spear Mode. Unless Spear Mode. Which, a little spoiler alert, we're going to take care of that too. Okay, awesome. All right, Steven, uh, let's go after your side deck. Just a rough side deck that you yes, have. Yes, yes. So three Spear Mode, three Lava Golem against Gookie and Mirror, uh, Mir against Mirror and maybe Gookie. Mirror is more important. Three reboot for uh, anti spell and reincarnation. Uh, I didn't side before for reincarnation Joel, but I get the worst luck, and they happen to have it uh, two games every match against me. I still win, but it's good to have just a reboot. Uh, you play forty cards, so you're very very high chance to draw these. And uh, three evenly, evenly reboot against heavy trap decks. It just blowouts, and then uh, also against sky striker. Just three of these. And then uh, you don't need to side much because you're playing the best deck in the world. So the other three cards are just extra deck cards. Cowboy for game and then Dweller Omega. Uh, against like just another rank 4 interruption and then Omega just because it's... Uh, uh, in case uh, Just in case going first you play this in case of cherries. And yeah. Alright guys, and tomorrow we're going to be doing a combo video. Combo video? Look at this board, bro. This is the board, guys. Tomorrow's video. Easy. 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 I'm going to shuffle random, completely random. Whatever we drew, draw, we're going to draw it with. If we draw three Keplers, one Thomas, and one Leonidas, we're still doing the combo. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the hand is we're doing it. It's going to end up on this. Okay, yo. Seriously, so, so you know what? I'm... I'm gonna challenge the subscribers with your deck right now. Yeah. I want them to try to build this board. Yo, without you even doing yeah. the combo. Yo, without me helping you guys, try it. Try it. It's easy. You saw the deck. This is an end combo with a bunch of cards in hand. Well, a scale like, with a follow up. So I want to see what you guys can do with it. Try. And lastly, I want you guys to subscribe to my new channel. All right. Okay. So you guys, what's your new channel, Steven? So you guys already know I got Triff Gaming, all the sick uh, pendulum combos. Subscribe to that. But the main one I just started. Trip Fitness! Okay, why Let's did you start go. the, why, why did you start the Trip Fitness? Why? Because the entire Yuga community is a bunch of fat people that eat a bunch of cheeseburgers and pizza. I don't want that. I don't want that. We get a bad rep. We get a bad rep. What's up, guys? We get a bad rep for that. So, I want everyone to start lifting. So, I'm a skinny guy. So, I started going to the gym three days ago, and I'm three days into my transformation. So I want to show you guys, if a skinny guy like me can get shredded, why can't you, man? You can be skinny, you can be fat, you can be shredded, doesn't matter what it is. You could be a Yu-Gi-Oh guy like myself, don't matter. Doesn't matter what the situation is, you should go get shredded. So go follow on Trip Fitness, all right? Down in the description box below. Yes, go follow and then you'll know how to get shredded too. Follow me and get shredded too. All right, all right, Steven. All right, see you tomorrow. And guys, a thousand plus likes for the combo video tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm from Team Sarah signing out. All right, guys, peace.